Welcome to Holy Jesus. Um, today we're going to be talking about walking in faith and um, being a Christian, basically. Come on, join us. Well, um, I've been a Christian for about a year, and it has not been easy. But I have been seeing a lot of improvement, things that I can imagine myself doing, a new awareness, um, feeling filled inside, and just growing, you know, and, and seeing how God sees the world, and it's just blowing me away more compassionate, more peace, more love, uh, actually caring for others and starting to put myself second slowly and putting others first and what it really means. And I'm like, wow, like, it's not me, it's the spirit in me. Um, along the first part of the journey, it was really, really hard. You know, first it's like, I gotta, you gotta believe. It's like, well, as a believer now looking at a non- being from being a non-believer, it was like, how do I believe? You know, and belief is what we put our focus on, what we put attention to. Um, we like to think it's our minds, and that's part of it, but mostly it's what we what we know already in our hearts. Like when we wake up in the morning, when we walk, when we do the most basic things in the world, we know how to walk, we know how to breathe. It's so much we don't even think about it. We just believe it, and. That's what believing in um, my faith, uh, being a Christian, is to me. It's doing it to where it's not even, you don't even have to think about it no more. But it takes a lot of conditioning for that, you know, like a boxer trains, you know, um, one, two, one, two, you know, um, a musician trains too, guitar, piano, whatever. Um, there's these, all this training, you know, and there's also spiritual training, um, when we work it out, it gets stronger. And um, looking back at it, it's like, I saw where I was at and I see where I'm going now. And I'm like, I'm just following Jesus and, and I'm noticing crazy amounts of change. But it hasn't been easy. You know, I've been reading the word every day, every single day. And when I first started, I didn't understand anything of it. Barely any of it. I didn't really digest it as like a a book that is talking about me personally until God's spirit, until he started softening my heart. And then I could see like, oh my goodness, like I'm changing, like he's changing me, you know? And, and then you pray and then it's like, oh, he, he may do it, you know, because the world, when we ask someone for a favor, you know, we're not perfect and we don't always answer people's requests or fulfill our own or, you know, um, but God is fully faithful, you know, so building that relationship with him has been like, all right, he may do it. Let's see if he does it. And he does it. And it's like, okay, well, and then he does it again and again and again. And it's just like, he really is real, huh? But I've had those moments and I know we all go through them first starting in faith is you believe for here and then you fall off, you know, and then. You get back on, and, and it's just like something you gotta be consistent. And you know, as humans, it's we're not very consistent with anything besides breathing. You know, and trying to implement something that consistent, like the sun shines, is as faithful as he is. He is always, all the time, one hundred percent faithful. And now, finally, seeing that he is answering my prayers, he is fulfilling things, he is helping me through this life like oh my god he's real you know and finally knowing that and walking with that security that god loves me and man nothing man can do nothing this world can do can ever scare me it's just so much peace and so much like what do i want to do what do i love to do god help me and finally having like i mean the best father you can ever have you know all he does is put his attention on us, you know, and hopefully when we become uh, parents of our own, that's what we will feel for our children. And I'm starting to feel that just 
on a normal basis that I care for people, I'm going to check in on them, you know, and it's nothing to, to brag about, it's nothing vain, it's not something that I expect them to do something back, I just do it out of my heart, and, you know, um, someone I had lended money to, I did it from my heart, and one day they paid me back, and I was like, what are you paying me for? I literally forgot about it, and they were like, well, you helped us, and I was like, I don't remember, so literally they gave me money, and I was like, oh, thank you, this is weird, but that's the love that God has for us, it's, he doesn't have his fingers crossed behind his back, he's just, he shows you who he truly is, and um, as Christians, as Eve, just as myself, I would love, I love to do that, I just want to show you guys who I am, and I'm not ashamed, um, because I know that Life isn't easy, and especially that without God, it's impossible. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, it's part of being Christian, but it definitely takes time. It takes patience. And, and when we begin to notice that change, when we get in His Word and we pray to Him, talk to Him, you know, become go around other believers, things start to really change. And... It's all on those little steps. Um, I almost fell off so many times. I got mad about being in church. I got mad. I got pissed off. Excuse my language. But overall, now I look at it and I'm like, whoa. Like, that was a hard hurdle. But it happens now normal, normally. And it's just like, it's not even that big of a deal. Like, I'm like, well, I was, I was tripping off that. Like... <laughs> So that's just the way it's going to be, you know. The other guy is always going to try to fight to make us give up and quit. And thank God for grace and Jesus that um, he didn't give up on us. So now he fills us and myself with the spirit to not give up on you guys. So thank you. We love you. And God bless you. Amen. Uh.